So, I'm sure you guys have heard the recent news. If you haven't, to keep it short and simple, Leafy got banned off of YouTube. Why, you ask? Well, nobody really knows. Let's start from the beginning. So, I'm sure all you guys know who Leafy is, unless you're living under a rock. But if you are living under a rock, then I'll fill you in real quick. Leafy started out in the early days as an overall variety YouTuber playing Minecraft, CSGO, etc. But as he started to gain traction on this garb, I mean beautiful website called YouTube.com, he transitioned to a commentating channel and a reaction channel. This was all back in 2016, and at the time, he was the fastest growing YouTuber on the site. This was not easy though. In fact, he was labeled a cyber bully due to his reaction videos. But let's be honest, those kids really had it coming to them when they made those cringy So as he hit 4 million on YouTube, his views started to decline. This was mainly because as I mentioned earlier, YouTube wasn't on his side so he wasn't getting recommended to many people. In the long scheme of things, this caused him to go on a 2 year hiatus. We didn't know it was going to be 2 years at the time, but you get the gist of it. Flash forward to 2020 and Leafy makes one returning video and practically runs the site. The whole point of the returning video was to take shots at H3H3 for calling out Leafy and saying that he would not not be able to survive in the current YouTube algorithm, which let's be honest, he was so, so wrong. But the more recent shots that Leafy took were at Pokemon, and he exposed her on things that happened back in 2018. He made a good amount of videos on her, with each video shaking up the internet more and more. This puts me right on track on the first theory on why he got banned, and that's because of the videos he made on Pokemon. This is very similar to the incident that happened in 2018 between Boblox and Pokemon. If you don't know about this, Boblox basically screenshot tweets from Pokemon and from Keemstar as they were having an online argument as a little archive. And I guess her MCN had told her that she had the power to take down the video. This really stirs up the pot because most people on YouTube really live off of their YouTube channels depending on the amount of uh, following they have. So if you think about it, taking down a video takes away hundreds if not thousands from a creator. And why this is all important is because Leafy made a bunch of videos exposing Pokemon in her fan base. Boblox did not do anything close to this. Leafy's just completely going off on Pokemon though. Boblox simply archived Twitter tweets. If something that little is enough to get your video taken down, then I'm sure what Leafy is doing is enough to get his whole channel taken down. Now don't get me wrong, I support Leafy because let's be honest, all the stuff he's saying is factual. Well then you're probably wondering why did it take so long for him to get terminated off of YouTube? Now to be completely honest, we don't know, but if my first theory is correct then I'm sure Pokemon was waiting to pull the trigger on terminating Leafy's channel because she doesn't want a repeat of what happened in 2018. But that's really all I have to say on that theory. Let's move on. My second theory is because simply, he's a commentary channel. I mean, we've known this for a while. YouTube does not like commentary channels. At this rate, commentary is just going to die out eventually. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, we still have a bunch of big creators such as Benji, Scrubby, Luna, Cyrus. It, it keeps going on. But Leafy is hands down the biggest commentary channel on YouTube. And yeah, you can make the argument that, oh my God, Leafy is actually a reaction channel. Like, get your facts straight. Yeah, but I like to say he's a little bit of a hybrid of a reaction channel and a commentary channel. He reacted to a video while talking over gameplay, so I don't really know where that puts him. But either way, taking out one of the biggest creators in the community it's just a huge blow to the commentary side of YouTube. So I don't know if YouTube's just gonna go around terminating our channels left and right, and we're just gonna be dropping like fleas. I mean, nobody knows what YouTube is gonna do these days. I mean, they had a reason to terminate his channel. Like, bro, I don't even know if it's okay to cuss or not in your videos, but I guess they're doing it to quote unquote protect the children's ears. If they're so worried about YouTube not being a safe place for children, then why, why the hell does YouTube kids exist? Anyway, I think that's about all I have to say for now. I know it was a bit of a shorter video, but I tried to put as much talking as I could into this and just inform you guys about Leafy and what my thoughts are on the whole situation. Anyway, yeah, that's just about it. If you like the video, then like the video. And if you actually like the video, then please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And if you didn't know, I also have a second channel of content that didn't really make the cut for the main channel. Uploads aren't going to be frequent on that channel, but if you just want a little bit extra, then there you go. Anyway, that's just about it. Take it easy. Everybody have a good one. I'll see you all later. Peace.